guys, welcome to Violet Adazet. Violet here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Today we are looking at Cher on Madonna. Diva on Diva. So it's apparent that Madonna had some beef in the 80s and 90s with a few divas, including Cher. I don't know what the whole drama is about, but I'm here for the results of the drama. I'm assuming she's going to be saying some really shady stuff, and um, I like the mess. <laughs> Before we get started, I would like to give a big shout out to the YouTube channel, Curtains. This channel is for you if you are into scary stories. On that channel, you will find stories ranging from classical horror to creepypasta, nighttime horror, paranormal, thriller, real ghost encounters, and more. There are new uploads pretty much daily, so if you would like to check out the channel, visit the link in my description box below. And with that being said, let's jump right into this mess. What do you think of Madonna? What do I think of her? I think that she's very talented. What, you want some, you want trash? What do you think of They are instigators. They're like, what do you, what do you think about Madonna? Let's get our popcorn. They wanted some juice. She said she's talented. She kept it classy. Okay, let's see if this continues to keep it classy. 91, two years later. Let's see. What about Madonna? What about her? In some ways, she reminds me professionally, career-wise, she's somebody who speaks her mind. Yeah. She's somebody who's gone against the grain. Uh, things that you have done. Hmm. There are lots of things that I respect about her. I think that she knows how to work the business like nobody I've ever seen before. And there's something about her that I don't like. That is the most blatant comment I have ever heard a celebrity make about another celebrity. It was not shady. It was not bitchy. It was just like being honest, which is almost more painful. <laughs> She's mean. Woo! I, I don't like that. I mean, I remember having her over to my house a couple of times because Sean and I were friends and she just was so rude to everybody. It seems to me that she's got so much that she doesn't have to act the way that she acts like a, a spoiled brat all the time. And it seems to me when you reach the kind of acclaim that she's reached and can do whatever you want to do, you should be a little bit more magnanimous. Magnanimous. Jeez, okay. And a little bit less of a <sighs> Don't mince words. Guys, I don't know if it's this video that's making me sweat or if I'm just really hot. She didn't even say less of a bitch. She didn't say less of a angry person. She said less of a I don't know the background of why they didn't like each other or if they didn't like each other or if maybe Cher is just being honest but if there's a reason that they did not like each other or if they didn't like each other if you know why let me know who you go jogging like Madonna to keep fit well these reporters these reporters they are trying to bait so hard you mean like my best friend Madonna yeah. Woo! she knows she knows what he's trying to pull <laughs> Way to drag her in, you understand? How about dragging her in by her hair? <laughs> what am I what am I hearing right now, guys? I feel like I am I'm 31 years behind, but this is piping hot. Like I, I'm watching this as, as if this happened yesterday. Like, oh no, she did it. Drag her in by her hair. Well, you know what? It's really gotten to be so blown out of proportion. I mean, because the newspapers here are having a field day with it. I can what imagine. Someone said to me, what do you think about it? And I said, well, I think she's unbelievably creative. I mean, I'm amazed at the amount. I mean, because in my day, I was pretty good at doing the same thing that she's doing, but she does it so much better. I've come to the conclusion until proven differently in the comments or something that Cher is just a really honest person because it takes someone very unique to be in the caliber that Cher is on and admit or say someone did something better than you. Maybe they don't have any beef at all. I mean, she's un unbelievably creative because she's not unbelievably talented. She's not beautiful, but she's... T I take back everything I said! I take back everything! Well, I didn't think... She's beautiful. Oh, what? No, this is... This is fighting words. Can you imagine watching TV and hearing that about yourself? The woman was too stunned to speak. She's rude, and so this man said, how do you feel about her? I said, well, she's nice, but, I mean, she, she's... Creative, but she's rude. And then I used another word and they bleeped me. But... The see you next Tuesday word. I really don't have anything against her. I think she's 
I mean, I do respect that she goes much farther than anyone should go. And I think that that's interesting about her, that she's willing to do whatever she wants to do. I don't even know if it's from this room. I don't know if it's from this video I'm watching. I am just shook to my core, to my bones. 92, one year later. Ah, let's see what that, what's I'm happened. Gonna, I'm going to ask you, what do you think about Madonna? I hate them. For, is she just, because you, you know, you're not afraid to make people go, ooh, ooh. What's yeah. happening here? Everybody's trying to get a piece of that, those views. I'll be so irritated if I was here. Like, if you keep asking me about it, you already know how I felt. Watch the other three shows, you'll know how I felt. Has she going, has she taken it just a little too far? I think that, you know, I love her hair art here. is art, and thank God I don't have the responsibility of deciding what's too far and what's art. I mean, I've seen her book. I thought some of the pictures were really interesting and really beautiful, and I thought some of the pictures were silly. And so, I'm sure that somebody will like some parts of it, and I mean, there's a couple of just plain nude shots of her that are really beautiful and there are a couple of pictures that don't really appeal to me but I don't really care about it one way or another. You have another. to turn the book around and do some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're I think she's very creative and I think that she I does love her a lot with the talent that she has. Oh, she, yes. What, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, she's a major, major star, and she's not really a great, great singer. She's not really a great, great actress, but she's a, I mean, but she's one of the biggest stars in the world. So that's a special art to be able to turn whatever you have into. It's like spinning straw into gold. You know, you turn whatever you have into, into being creative. It's like energy. Yeah. yeah. Not a compliment and an insult. It was like an inception of insults and compliments. To be fair, I think Madonna is talented because I think creativity is talent. Someone asked you, how do you how did you celebrate Madonna's birthday? And you said you got a colonic. <laughs> <laughs> but you're but you're good with Madonna, right? I'm totally yes. good with okay. Madonna. Imagine now I have gone through our things, okay. but I'm totally good with them. Okay, good. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Oh, it's hilarious. That's a good one to end off on because it's like more happy-go-lucky. She said they're in a good place, so I'm assuming they are in a good place. I also expect in the shade because I'm used to like more under the rug shade where the person is saying something but not really outright saying it. That's the passive-aggressive way. Shira is like, forget passive-aggressive. I'm just gonna tell it to you straight. It must hurt because if that is how you make your money, that's your livelihood, that is your talent. Madonna's world is literally singing and being Madonna. And then someone is like telling you that that thing that makes you all your money, you're not really good at. And someone that's highly respected in the industry, that was her. Well, shit, guys, that was the video. I was not expecting that, but that's what we got served. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I just want to know how you feel about this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each time I put up a new video. With that being said, the video has come to an end. I'll see you in the next one. Have an amazing day. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>